Hi guys, I'm Giuseppe Sapori and this is an introduction video to the Tempstack Pro, a powerful Photoshop tool now available from download. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the effects we got that includes a fast and easy blending tool, amazing details, powerful contrast and much more. The panel is composed by three pages that are at the same time the categories of editing. To begin with, let's take a look at the first page that's composed by a series of luminosity masks and blending options. I want to start talking about the how to blend effects. This is an easy way to blend your exposure with amazing results. To begin with, I'm going to press stack that with one click open all my documents as layer. In this case we have the darker exposure on top and the brighter exposure. Now I have all my images ready. Before launch auto blend, I recommend to take a look to the extraction. But essentially, whenever you have to do a blend like this, make sure you have the layer you want to blend and the background layer visible. Now I simply press auto blend darks because I'm blending a dark exposure. When that's done, you will see the panel blending the exposure together. But the options also create a mask series that you can find here on top. Now at the right of the button, we have a series of numbers that corresponds to the masks. By pressing these buttons, it's possible to test all these masks and take a look how the results look different. Now if I choose to select the mask number one, I'm going to press select, here. You need to have the mask selected before make this. And the same for manual and delete buttons. What about manual? By pressing this button, we can just create our desired mask. Just like that. And just press OK when you finish. Now the panel apply the manual mask. You can see here the differences between before and after. If you're happy about your mask, press select and you will see the mask applied to the exposure. At the same time, you can press delete here to remove the selection. What I said for how to blend darks also apply to how to blend lights. If you want to blend a brighter exposure, this is exactly the same. But now, I want to talk about fast blend option that you can find here. Fast blend launches a blend that uses Photoshop blending option. Very useful to make a rapid blend when you have multiple layers. Now I have a dark image, so I will use fast blend darks. Press undo to cancel the effect, but you can simply use fast blend light if your exposure is bright, like that. Now let's see the luminosity mask sections. The upper part of the panel is dedicated to this. It consists in six different selection of lights, darks and midtones, and every button on the right is a specific mask of selection. Pressing these buttons, we can easily select the luminosity masks we need without affect any other part of the exposure. Starting from these masks, it's also possible to subtract or add selection to this. For example, if I select Midtones 4 and I press Ctrl, Alt and left mouse button on Darks 3, I can subtract Darks 3 from the first selection. Instead, if I use Ctrl Shift and left mouse button, I will add more selection to the first one. Now we move into the enhancement category to show you some of the options there inside. In the Tempstack Pro, there are many new options to guarantee you grid control over the image you are editing. For example, we have four different kinds of Horton effect: a greater contour contrast amazing details, options for colors and many other. To begin with, let's take a look at the Orton Effect category. I want to show you how it works Orton Effect details 
that creates a beautiful dreamy effect without losing quality, especially if you are shooting landscape. You can see that now it creates a beautiful dreamy feel, but it's a little bit strong, so I reduce the opacity here. Another effect that I want to show you is Luminosity Mask's Contrast. And if you press here, we will see we will get a new folder called Luminosity Mask's Contrast. And here we have three curves layer, and all of them are mask applied on the different main part of the image. For example, I can use midtones to fix contrast using a curves layer. With luminosity masks contrast, I can make adjustment purely based on darks or lights. And this is not affecting the other part of the image. You can easily see that here. This type of contrast ensures great versatility, so you can adjust the contrast without affecting the other part of the exposure. This is a little bit strong, so now I reduce the opacity of mid-tone main contrast. Merge layers. And this is the before and after. Next, let's talk about details. For who half as panel user already knows my high details filter, but in TTS Pro, I wanted to add specific option to launch details on shadows and highlights. Let me just quickly show you. If I press there, and I set the radius, OK again, the option will beautifully apply details just on the highlights without affecting the other part of the image. And this is the before and after. Now I want to reduce the opacity because I want a softer effect. And finally, I want to talk about the options that are in the lower part of the panel. There are a series of different effects such as warm shadows, warm highlights, or cold shadows and highlights, which together with the other option in this tab, we help to make a little bit cool your image. The third and final category is called finishing. Inside there is a series of options to make the final corrections, including saving your work. About this, we have a series of saving buttons, including a safer web option. And that's exactly what I want to talk you first. Here we have Save for Web Width and Height. If we press the button, the panel will resize the image in a new document. Here we have the output work. On the right, there's a new sharpened layer to better result in web. Just save the image as you normally do. And this is how the image looks like. And about this saving option, we can do the same by height in a place of the width. Instead, down here we have some Save As options. We can save the image as JPEG or select TIFF or PSD. If I want JPEG, just press and here select the destination and the file name. Now let's give a first look on the other option located at the beginning of the Finish tab. All of this effect don't need any presentation. For example, there are sharp and reduced noise or clean chromatic aberration. All these options are very useful and easy to use to finish your workflow. But in this introduction video, I want to focus more on how to use the Add Watermark tool. To add your watermark, just press here and you will have your watermark on the left.
If you use this button for the first time, you will need to upload your watermark. So press this button, select your watermark. Here we have to set the layer opacity and press OK. In the second pop-up we need to set the watermark size. Now I have 15% but I can set 25 or 40. OK again. And now we have to push the button one second time to have the watermark in the right place. And that's it for the TTS Pro panel. We saw quickly the main functions of the tool, but you can always check the manual for the instructions on how to use every single option and don't forget to visit the support page for the Eastern instructions and the frequently asked question about it. So guys, that's all. To download TTS Pro, you will find a download link below this video. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.